Once you know the technique, rolling out a sheet of pie dough to fit a double crusted pie is simple. Here's how to do it. Start with a disc of your favorite pie dough and let it rest at room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes to soften slightly. Place it on a well floured countertop and sprinkle the top with more flour to prevent sticking. Use a rolling pin to start rolling out the dough. I like to use a tapered French style rolling pin. When rolling, go in three directions, straight forward and 45 degrees to the left and the right, before rotating the disc of dough 90 degrees and repeating. Continue like this, flipping the dough over occasionally to make sure that it's not sticking, until it's rolled out to about an inch and a half wider than the pie plate. Lift the dough by rolling it around the rolling pin, using a bench scraper if necessary, and then drape it into a pie plate. Gently work the dough into the corners of the pie plate, lifting the overhanging edge as you go to make sure that the dough doesn't tear. Once the dough is fitted, transfer the entire thing to a rim baking sheet or to a large plate and place it in the refrigerator while you roll out a second disc of dough for the top. When that second disc is ready, fill the pie with cooled filling, then drape the second sheet of dough over the top, making sure that it overhangs the edges evenly. Lift the edges of both sheets of dough simultaneously and using a pair of kitchen shears, carefully trim until they overhang the edge of the pie plate by half an inch, working your way around the entire plate. Now fold both sheets of dough together, lifting them up a section at a time and tucking them underneath themselves until they're even with the edge of the pie plate. Crimp the edges of the pie by gently pinching it between the thumb and forefinger of one hand and the forefinger of your other. This seals the dough and adds a decorative touch. For better browning in a glossy, shiny texture, I like to brush my pie with gently beaten egg whites, applying a thin coating all over. A little sprinkle of sugar adds extra crunch to the baked pie. Once brushed and sprinkled, cut five or six thin vent holes with the tip of a paring knife to allow steam to escape. Transfer the pie to the refrigerator and chill for at least 15 minutes until you're ready to bake. 